appreciate it. And at the Water Tower this weekend, you'll be able to see the art of a Kentucky man, James Kessinger, who created art for the World Equestrian Games, but he's never seen his own work. That's right. Kessinger, who is blind, will be a featured artist at Revision. That's a fundraiser for Visually Impaired Preschool Services, or VIPS. And joining us today to talk about it, we have James. We also have Heather Benson, the Hi, development Heather. director of VIPS. Thank you so much for coming. Thank James, you. we're taking a look at some of your, your beautiful artwork. Now, tell us a little bit about your story. You have not been blind your whole life. Oh, no. I, I lost my eyesight from macular degeneration. It started at about age 30. 32. But that's young for that. And then you completely yeah. lost your vision at what age? Mm -hmm. uh, over about a uh, eight to ten year period. Eight to ten year period. So James, mm -hmm. then you're, you're working from imagery that you took in during your life and, and, and how lush are these pictures in your mind? Well, a lot of my work is from uh, images that uh, from my visual mm -hmm. life. But uh, there's another part of sight that doesn't include, you know, what you're able to get through these two orbs, uh, that it's uh, manifested in your mind. Hmm. Uh, a lot of scientific work being done now is, is proving that people who have sight impairment can still see, quote unquote, through other people's eyes. Uh, and, it's very, very interesting field. Absolutely. And, and Heather, let's bring you in as we continue to show the different work. Tell us a little bit about this show that's taking place. Well, we decided to create this show to show the public how art is experienced through the eyes of a blind or visually impaired person. So that's how we dreamed of Revision. And uh, Brown Form Corporation signed on as our sponsor, have been very supportive of making this dream come to life. And we're excited to kick it off this weekend. It looks phenomenal. And James, some of these works we see are, are they're, they're just touching, they're moving, and you know, it's just, it's fascinating imagery for us to, to consider the artist's source. Well, thank you, thank you. It, when you do these, when, with the colors, mm -hmm. does somebody say, okay, James, this is red that you're using. How do you do that? <laughs> no, my, my, op, my ophthalmologist tells me, he says, you know, you can't see color. And I said, well, yeah, I can. I, I don't see it the way you see it, but I remember red, I remember blue, I remember green. So if I need those colors, uh, I have my, my studio set up where the colors are sectioned off into different uh -huh. bins. So I know which bin I go to to get blue. And then I can't tell you how I make that blue graduate in different values and it, but it happens. But you do. It happens. <laughs> it we're happens. Just, that we're just looking at that Christmas ornament, and it's and it's just stunning. <laughs> the detail in there is, is is gorgeous. Sometimes the Lord makes up for what you don't have by giving you things that other people don't have. Well, that's a fascinating thing, and that's the point I'm sure that you absolutely want to come across in this, Heather. Exactly. Exactly. We have. Um, paintings and we have sculptures and we have textiles so all kinds of tactual elements to this show and we just want people to we want to encourage people to experience the art by feeling it thank you all so much james really appreciate your being Rachel, here today it's thank my you. pleasure too. thank hey, james, you so thank much you, sir. and to let you know you can attend the revision kickoff cocktail party this friday night at the louisville water tower at seven o'clock tickets are twenty five dollars james's art is part of a month-long exhibit at the water tower that will end when it is auctioned off february 18th and you can find more details at vips.org